Torchlight Infinite is insane. Really? Is it really insane? It's insanely bad. I've watched this girl do PoE many leagues. I still don't understand how she can die in hardcore after like fucking two weeks of farming the character and be like, haha, okay. Like, bro, I would fucking, like, I have to go down to the, I had to go down to church. Like, I'm like, yeah, I, I need to see, uh, uh, you know, whoever's in charge here right away. Yeah, I've got to know the meaning of life. Because I think I've lost my way. So, I've, uh, recently been playing some Torch of Infinite. Well, I started the endgame today, and I, um, played a little bit more than that, but basically just started the endgame, and... It is insane. Let me show you. This is the mapping system. Okay. Uh, I'll make another video. It's like more in-depth thoughts, but just, um, this game's crazy. This is like not a min-max character at all. Just like slapped a bunch of random stuff on, and uh, this is what it looks like. All right, let's see the this game. Is probably the new fastest-paced ARPG. This is if cool. This is how it is without min-maxing. I can't imagine what it's like with min-maxing. This is like having well, how much did this cost? and soul eater stacks in PUE level. Yeah. Like, you could probably get this way faster too. I'm okay. only level 83. This is basically one day of mapping. And then... Since the problem is like, if you already start like this, where you already have, you know, Leap Slam and, you know, this whole thing, like, this early on, like, where do you go from here? So fast. You also have auto loot on your pet. And, uh, so it's even faster. Uh-huh. It's probably the craziest ARPG experience you can get, aside from PUE. Okay. I just gave the buff like a tanky mod, or I mean a boss a tanky mod there. Yeah. So. And drops a bunch of currency and stuff. It seems okay. Huge AoE. I could even completely clear the map with Leap Slam if I wanted to, if I made the Leap Slam my main skill it that's what i would do to scale very well early for some so reason. i didn't have to focus or think about anything let's do one more map boring as fuck gameplay see like i don't mind this at all i think that the the being able to one shot everything and kill everything is great but the difference is that whenever you get there in poe it's because you earned it i think that if you were able to one shot everything and it's not a grind to get there that's kind of a problem. It's not Leap Slam, it's called Leap Attack. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, Statue oh. for ya. Here, this is where it's gonna really get even crazier. This thing, I believe, gives me more damage and AoE every time I kill a certain amount of mobs. So, this might get a little bit flashbangy more than it already is. This gets really crazy. In the lead mechanic, you can spawn monsters at will, which is what that V button is, so you can just spawn a bunch of monsters around here. This isn't even a juiced map. There's things you can drop that... I was gonna try to put on those gamer glasses I had, but I couldn't find them. I don't know where they are. I thought they were behind my, uh, behind my desk, but they're not. It's very bright. Uh, uh, like, called like compasses or something. And, uh, you can juice Jeez. the map even more. That was a pretty small map, but you can see it, this game gets pretty crazy. I, I even wish there was like, I don't know, so maybe even a little bit too crazy with this build. I feel like I need to wear sunglasses. That's exactly what I was thinking. Look at that. Can't deal with this, my eyes? Yeah. Pre-watch. Yeah, just a little uh, insight to how crazy this game can get. 
I'll release a more um, in-depth video soon. And I will also release my uh, undecember like full thought video soon as well. So keep an eye out for those. Okay, well, that pretty much settles it. I, I actually, I've heard negative things about this game. I heard some positive things. It's very hard to really know. I mean, DSLE plays a lot of uh, fucking PoE. So, I mean, that's kind of the general, the general thing. How much money did she spend? Yeah, exactly. The game only has one different outfit for each class. I mean, I think it's about the gameplay. I, I've never played it, so I have no idea. It's decent. It's still not PoE, though. Well, it's going to take a while for a game to get to the level that PoE is at. I mean, there it is. It's the least enthusiastic person I've ever heard listening to Clear Eyes guy. Yeah, that's definitely true. Well, here, how about this? Go spend the last seven years of your life playing a video game that kills your character randomly by things that you can't even see. And then you lose weeks of progress at any given time. And then see if you can come out of that. And, and and still have any degree of emotions left. All right? Sounds like a ton of fun. Yeah, I'm sure it is.